there's a saying, most people are born, I was full. I came into the horse business from a young age, and, and when most kids were reading the cartoon books, I was reading the racing for them. I'm Norman Cassie. I'm a third generation horseman. We just love what we do. Norman usually is where I'm not. He's kind of my eyes and ears. I can see he has the same passion that I had when I was younger. My 12-year-old Colby, um, you know, he doesn't know anything else he knows about horse racing, but some of the things you wouldn't believe that come out of his mouth for a 12-year-old. Yeah, in Dubai. He won the Dubai Cup? No, 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 he won the for three-year-olds. Oh. A lot of people joke and say, well, how do you work with your father? And I don't find it that difficult. It's very, very easy because we both love what we do. Look good. And when you're passionate about something, you can, you can do good things and great things. He thinks he knows more than me a lot of times, and I always, I, you know, I think I know more than he does. But we usually, we usually work it out, and um, I'm normally right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. All right, now, now leave us alone. Thanks. <laughs> I decided basically my freshman year of college that I absolutely loved horse racing and that that's what I wanted to do. Oh, no, 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 the other filly. Um, I remember talking to Norman one day. He was working for us in our, as our business manager and I, he was unhappy and, and I said to him, I said, what's wrong, Norman? And it took me a little while to figure out you know, how I wanted to approach it with Dad because I didn't want to be embarrassed if he said, oh, you don't, you're not cut out for it. And he said, miserable because I'm not doing what I want to do. I said, well, what is it that you want to do? And he said, I want to be a horse trainer. I said, well, why didn't you say so? And I said, if you want to be the ho a horse trainer, well, then let's make you the best horse trainer we can make you. You said him to get yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did, don't worry about it. I think if he had said, this is what you're doing, it wouldn't have worked. You work seven days a week, you work a lot of hours. If you don't love it, you can't do it. 